And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Crimson Tarkaz, our last uh, meme tier Monday deck. We uh, This one's also a donation deck where we're building a deck around Tarkaz the Tribalist. Five mana, five eight, huge, huge uh, ally for five mana. It has attack deal one to all battling units. So your battling units and your opponent's battling units it's doing one damage to everything with the fury so we're kind of putting it in like the vladimir sejuani shell um where we don't mind doing one damage to all of our stuff because we have tarkazes in here we need vladimir a little bit less so we took out um one of vladimir um and so then we have an open champion slot and we're going to just play a brahm brahm's the worst champion and honestly <clears throat> this deck would probably be better with another Crimson Curator or even with like a uh, Kindly Tavern Keeper at three mana. That uh, Where's Kindly Tavern Keeper? That's okay. There we go. Kindly Tavern Keeper that we could play and help heal some of our allies since we're going to be doing a lot of damage to them. Probably be better than Braum, but I just want to give Braum a try. Um, and so we're, we're going to play Braum. Just, just really want to give it a try. I think this this makes Take Heart better with having you know Tarkaz and Vladimir, so even more ways to do damage to our stuff. So we are going to play some Take Hearts in here, and I'm also getting another Death Lotus because we can do one to all battling units with the Death Lotus and with the Tarkaz. So maybe we can use like the combination of those to basically have an avalanche <laughs> um, effect, and so that could be pretty cool. Uh, yeah, no, no Stefan. Um, Stefan's what? Is Stefan three or four mana? Stefan's three mana. Yeah, no Stefan. Stefan's not not necessarily bad, but I I just don't really want Stefan over these other cards. Like I'd rather have Curator, making more units for us. I think Ember Maiden's awesome, and so I, I want those two. I mean, you could play it instead of Brom, I guess, but um, no. Nah. I feel like we need a little bit of card advantage, so we got Babbling Bjorgen here to help us draw Tarkaz, Vladimir, and Sedjuani. Um, I wanted more scar, like I wanted to, like I wanted more cards at the top end. I wanted a second Scar Mother Verena. I I really wanted uh, to play some Scar Maiden Reavers. Honestly, um, I I wish that this was four mana. You know, it's just another five mana card, and we already have these five drops. Um, I wanted four another four mana card, and I thought about playing this and just getting rid of Vladimir. Because then we could just have Tarkaz be Vladimir, and then we could have like a, another slot for an early champion. But there's just not any other early champion really besides Braum. I don't think this is really a Draven deck. Maybe you could play a Katarina, um, but yeah, like all all these like Noxus and Freljord just have all sorts of five plus mana champions, unfortunately. Okay, anyway, um, yeah, so let's give this a try. All right, change the board. We got a, a board change. Gucci using points to change the board to Bilgewater. Okay. Good good call doing it uh, right now before I start a game. So if you were just a little bit later and I started the game, then y'all you knew me. You know me. I would have forgotten about it. Um. All right, let's get rid of Sejuani. Keep this. We could probably get rid of Vladimir also. We got other five five mana card. Like we'll probably draw a five mana card by turn five. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Hey, there we go. See? We got rewarded for putting Vladimir back. So now Vladimir's a 6-6. Six -six. Cool. A 4-9 Scar Mother Verena. That's not a combination of power and health that we see very often. 
And I could just attack for one and got the one damage in. But I'll play the Braum first. Okay, I'm not gonna do anything. Get him, Braum. Kind of scary. I just won't block. For the Empire. See if they could just use a vile feast or anything like that to kill Braum if I block with Braum. Make the Empire proud. Remember the objectives. Yeah, you can you can always suggest decks and stuff. Blackjack. Hello, my darling. Hello, Moto. No. Come here. First we fight. Poor Vladimir. I think it's better just to do that with Hecarim's ability to attack, put into other things, and the shark. <clears throat> I think it's better to do that than the Scar Mother. Flee now or burn. Get him, Scar. Scar Mother. Yeah. Scar Joe. One and oh. All right, Turkey Guy donation deck. Okay, an Undying Fluff deck. So that sounds, do you want me to save that for next meme tier Monday? Turkey, do you want me to save that or do you want me to play it before? I can, you know, I can play it, you know, soon in the next like day or two or I can save it for next meme tier Monday. Undying Fluff. Yeah, un unyielding or unyielding spirit. So unyielding spirit, heart of the fluff. Okay, yeah, it looks nice. I'll I'll finish that up. Karen Fiora. Yeah, probably better for meme tier. I know that's that's a week away though. Do you mind do you mind waiting a week? I could probably just have a meme tier deck on one of the other days and just even though it's not meme tier Monday. Okay, and then just play it in normal matches instead of ranked. I can do that. Is it the mustache? Who knows? With doing nothing turn one, turn two, that usually means they're playing Fiora on three. So I'll play the Braum to challenge the Fiora. Do they need our help? Break 
their spirits and their souls. Ah, protege. It is easy, see? Soldiers, to me! RV? Cool, sounds good, Turkey. Is that all? Eyes blazing bright as torches. For justice, for Demacia. Boo. First we fight. Ah, this is fun, yes? Alright, Garen's a little too big. Doesn't really make a lot of sense to attack him with other stuff. We'll just start leveling up. Vladimir and Brom. Looks like Vladimir is going to go. You have to probably be worried about some kind of spell. Some kind of protection spell. Probably have to be worried about that. Blocking with the Omen Hawk to clear some room for me. Stay resolute. Anything that deals with this Garen yet. I don't have anything that deals with this Garen yet. These biggest tombstones. Tarkas. Wish I had a couple more mana to be able to block. Raise 
the banner. Lift our spirits. We stand strong. Let's see. All right, don't have any good attacks. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah. Bearman. Bearman's still not bad. Bearman, not bad. So we can we can uh, challenge with Brom. Gets a nine out of ten. Close. Got your back. Time your best. Yeah, remember when Bannerman buffed himself? Not the best time to be just drawing Crimson Curators. Our last two draw steps are over both of our Crimson Curators, and it's not, not a good card. They still have more cards in hand than I do. Yuck. It's a glass bottle. <laughs> glass, yeah, I just, I have like, like some glass, like juice, like they were old juice bottles that I just save and uh, rewash and fill up with water and put in the fridge. Break their ranks! All right, looks like we're one on one. Fall to our stand. Aha! Looks like we are one and one. So I don't know how I can steal this game. Like I don't know what can even really happen that allowed that would allow me to steal this game. You know, like this, maybe, you know, maybe we put him down to six. Um, you know, a Tarkaz attack is like four, maybe a transfusion. Maybe we draw transfusion. Or yeah, a Vladimir. Like a, yeah, if they have no removal, yeah, a Vladimir. Could have got me there, but now they had removal. They get the attack token as well. They could just go straight to attack. Show them our metal. Protect and strike. No, neither Sejuani or Vlad are leveled up. Gift me a scar. 
As Tarkas does damage to himself, doesn't he? I was hoping to get Garen's health down with blocking with the five power and then, you know, maybe be able to uh, trigger that. Scar Mother again uh, with the Tarkas attack and it'd be, you know, a nine attack and then just kind of see where we were at after that. But nah, it didn't work. All right, one on one. Banner been pretty good. Especially against just a whole bunch of like two threes and three threes, and that's that's all I had was two threes and three threes. So yeah, what what is this? So what is the deck, Blackjack? Tell tell me what 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 is this deck? Snapvine Collector deck. Yeah, I have what ten spells, so twenty twenty five percent of our deck is spells. I think they'll never see the Death Lotus coming. I don't really have a good emote for that. Okay, how's it how's it been working for you, that that uh Snap Find Collector deck? How's it how's it been treating you? I found my family, my blood again. I walk my path alone. <laughs> Death Lotus is underrated. Everything's better with company. Says you. Remember the objective. Death Lotus is pretty underrated. You are the men. Let me show you what I can do. Come, Clara, we have much to teach you. I can't wait. Hmm. So I could have all the tricks available or play Vladimir. Have none of the tricks available. They get to just block with Crimson. They get to just block the Demolitionist with Crimson Disciple. The Solitary Monk blocks here. Like, you know, they get to just block both of those and kill them. And this already dies. <clears throat> so I'd have all three of these die. And they would take four, five, six. Um, and then, you know, they'd probably just trade here. And then, you know, if they, if they jump block Vladimir or not. Maybe better to just actually play the Braum. Have Braum challenge Green Glade duo. I guess we could challenge Solitary Monk and have the transfusion. But it's probably better just to stay safe. I'll duo. Let's see what you can do. Look what you did. All right, yep, Brahms. 
Rom's time to shine. Uh, we're still at 11. Ugh. 11's not very much. So now we're at 7. Good chance that we're dead, because we're essentially at 3. Probably less. Mm. Nothing else. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Darn. That's game. Walk softly. Strike quickly. No, there's there's no way the Crimson Disciple is more dangerous than the 4-3 elusive that I can't block. There is there is no way that I should have challenged Crimson Disciple and not the 4-3. No way. The only the only possible way the Crimson Disciples really do him much is if they have um, Imperial Demolitionist, because if, if they don't have that card, then it's really not doing very much. <clears throat> we need more Death, Lo Death Lotuses. Yeah, no, I, I see that. I, I, yeah, I, I, uh, I've seen the the um, Snapbind deck. I uploaded it to Mobilytics and was looking at it. With uh, three butchers, the, the three shadow fiends, so like it starts off real aggressive. I, I mean, I did update the score, but it's, uh, here, I'll, there, it showed up. Sometimes, uh, sometimes there's, like, a little, it's, you know, a little bug, and it just does that. But no, there was, a, there was supposed to be a two there. It just didn't show the two. That's a bug that happens sometimes. Okay, yeah, but there, you just have the one snap vine, though. Do you have any ways to, like, find it? Because, yeah, like, those do work well with snap vine, but you just have the one. Looking for trouble? It found you. Let the flames it's like, is it, is it very reliable? Ember Maiden's really good. It's definitely a, a card that helps out our strategy Death quite plate. a bit. Flee now or burn. Fires for storytelling. Not Seriously? For Five mana Scar Mother Verena? Well, I mean that that now makes Ember Maiden. Horrific.
It makes my Tarkaz really bad because you know deal one damage to the Scar Mother Mother Varan is really bad. Like I, I wanted to demolitionist the Ember Maiden and just kill the Ember Maiden so it wouldn't Time trigger this, but I just don't have anything else to do. Level up Vladimir. Cyber, thank you so much for the gifted sub. I appreciate that. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. I'll take everything. Dance in the flames. <clears throat> took my elixir of iron. This pumps up Scar Mother, but it does level up Vlad and it kills Misfortune. Took my transfusion also. So for six mana, they just played a Scar Mother Varenna, a transfusion, and a, an Elixir of Iron, all for six mana. Because they all cost one less. And that was, it was turn five, but they had they had six mana. They won. Uh, spell mana. Let's see. Where can I find a full body? Listen, be friends. Good luck. Have fun. Listen, be friends. Bottoms up. So they're representing having some kind of you know trick to keep Scar Mother alive, and if they do, I mean, I, I, I'm probably gonna lose. Yeah, leveled up Vlad does get to drain now, so that that does help. That's true. That does help. Yeah, they'd rather keep Misfortune alive. Oh, no, they just have another zero mana elixir of iron from me. That's great. I cannot be broken. Well, Scar Mother is now um, a 12 power and You've got dangerous eyes. I like that. Not just the eyes, you know. The strong cake. figured it out. They would have just blocked with blocked here like they started. Next time. 
That was a pretty ridiculous game. Them stealing really great cards. That Scar Mother. And those Elixir of Irons. And the Transfusion. I don't play very many spells. Very many protection spells. And they, they just stole three of them. With my with like the very best threats that they can steal. Like that's you know, like that's the best card. And then the three protection spells for it. That's That was rough. That was rough. <laughs> One in twenty three, yeah. It's been it's been rough. <laughs> I want to keep Tarkaz. I mean, we're a Tarkaz deck. This is our, our last game with Tarkaz. Let's let's keep our Tarkaz. Yeah, we have been getting high rolled a bunch. Last few days happens. Fine. We'll have we'll just play our other one. It's kind of rough having two Ember Maidens, and maybe that means I should have mulliganed the one, but I'll just let that happen and keep Elixir of Iron for uh, something else. Tarkaz. If they're out there, I'll spot them. All right, so I'm gonna spend two mana draw card. So they have six cards. I have seven. Battlefield is even. I should block and not let them get another Sejuani level up. Embers and smoke. <clears throat> so I have two options. I can either go Tarkaz or, you know, Raider Maiden combo. We're a Tarkaz deck. Let's go. Five eight's pretty big. Pretty big. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Tarkaz. Yeah, this five eight's pretty big. Demolitionist. Okay. We'll take what we want. The rest will burn. Will burn. Come on. No. Scar Mother. Your path ends here. Crunch. 
Well, now we're up three cards on them. See the Nebastian border from here. Because they spent their, they played the Death Sand and the Imperial Demolitionist. Both of those on the Tarkaz, and Tarkaz is still alive. So we got the card advantage. Pain is nothing. Bow to no one. I shouldn't let them kill our Tarka so easily. Expecting it's vulnerable. I'm expecting them to challenge with their Averroes and Sentry now. And then we'll use Elixir of Iron. Vladimir's the gotta be leveled up now, right? Yep. Okay. So a couple different options. We could go Sejuani's Fury of the North, or you know we can just replay Sejuani. Um, their Sejuani, if they block there, it would be taking six damage, so it'd be going to one health. Leave so no we could have survivors. Ember Maiden finish it out. Oh, we'll go with the Fury of the North. <clears throat> Gives me a damaged Sejuani as far as Takehar is concerned, so we can go Takehar on either of these, depending on what they do. I, I obviously don't want to play Ember Maiden anymore because we don't want to kill our Tharkaz. So now we both got four cards in hand, but we also have a 9-3 Overwhelm and an 8-1. No, what is that? Hmm. All right, take heart Tarkaz or play my own Ember Maiden. You think I'll play Ember Maiden here? And just save the save the take heart for Sejuani. Hey Avrimka. I'm just gonna save Tarkaz because we're a Tarkaz deck. So I'm just gonna save it. I became a soldier. <laughs> Empire above all. Okay. 
I hope they attack with their 3-1 and I get to Death Lotus it, but it's not likely they will attack. We feast tonight, Bard. Hail, War Mother. Drive them before us, Era. For the Empire. The few for the many. The few for the many. And Omenhawk's dead. But it can block the 4 5. All of our stuff's gonna just be dead. This this swain is gonna take over. I should not use that take heart like I did. Lotus only does this only does battling units. I need that for them to attack. That doesn't mean it does, I can't just I can't just kill their Ember Maiden unless they attack. Everything's in place. There's only battling units. Strike at their foundations. So I'd love for them to attack with the Ember Maiden. Two will die. Such little Harkaz gets stunned. They could, they could have definitely drawn something better than Ruthless Raider. You know, if I'm supposed to, you know, just, if I go straight to attacks, they can have, they'll have, like, uh, I mean, I guess they could have the Demolitionist block Sejuani, and that's it. They could go down to one. They'll probably have Swain block the Ruthless Raider. Not a perfect attack. Prepare the cargo! There is no excess when victory is at stake. Never mind. Born for conquest. Leave nothing standing. They definitely did draw something better than Ruthless Raider. They drew the, the best card in their deck. Routes closed. Return fire! You dare oppose Noxus. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm at four. This does three damage to me, put me down to one. Yeah, I mean, I'm dead. I I can play the Ember Maiden and kill myself. That's about all I can do. Are 
you know, hope they made a, a poor block here. You think I should have played Maiden also and attacked with it? I mean, the problem with that is that once I play Maiden, they just cast Ravenous block and kill my Sejuani. Like, that's... I think it's better to just attack like this and hope they make a poor block instead of giving them the information that I would have the Ember Maiden. Playing the Ember Maiden, I had no chance of winning. Um... Doing that, maybe they make a poor block. Well, it looked good in the mid game for us. I uh, they drew they drew well, but we kind of showed like Tarkaz. Tarkaz is cool, but unfortunately not not that great. You know, we we really prioritized Tarkaz like that last game, and, and my opponent played better guards, unfortunately. Um, yeah, but that's Tarkaz. Um, I don't know exactly what else to do with Tarkaz, like how, how else to make Tarkaz good besides with, uh, like some of these other cards. Um, that culling strike they had for the Scar Mother, that was, that was pretty sick. Um, yeah, Scar Mother getting culling striked, uh, so gross. Um, yeah, could, could definitely pair Tarkaz with Swain, you know, like maybe, maybe instead of playing Vladimir, we should have Swain in here, but then, it, then if you're playing Swain, you want to play more damage stuff which which we could do you know like we could change this up death lotus looked pretty good for the most part um yeah death lotus looked good for us but yeah maybe that's what i should have done is just play tarkaz with swain um the rank seasons are two months long they're not they're not short like that's that's very long and then you know you get uh yeah so it's two months you get some kind of reward um at the end you know really said what it's going to be and then rank kind of resets a, a little bit. Um, but. All right, so there we go. Crimson Tarkaz, our last meme tier Monday deck. Uh, those of y'all on YouTube, also uh, feel free to uh, uh, not only hit that like button, leave those comments, that kind of stuff. Um, uh, okay, Forks actually redeemed a donation deck to do a Tarkaz Swain deck. Okay, we'll do that for next monday uh if you have if you have ideas that you want for meme tier monday uh you know feel free to put them over on in the comment section there on youtube all right but anyway thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video